So we get back to the house um, and Robin gathers us into the living room. <gasps> We're freaking out. We're, we don't know what's gonna happen. So girls, the challenge that I gave you, I know wasn't easy. <laughs> But I have a special reward for the girl who showed the most confidence up there tonight. That girl will be safe in tomorrow night's elimination. I thought I maybe had a little shot of, of winning because I was the first one up there. I was really confident, and I thought maybe Robin would see that. Let's start with Asia. <laughs> You got in there and you made sure that everybody was watching you. You were so confident. Chelsea, your body is beautiful and you got did you own it. Thank you. Yeah. Brittany, I still want to see you refining your vibe. Jamie, I want to see you taking this and just continuing to do what you did tonight and even more and more and more. At one point, I did think I was the weakest link, but I'm really working for it, you know? One of you is going to be safe at tomorrow night's elimination. Congratulations, Asia. <gasps> oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm extremely nervous because we have the elimination. It's coming up very shortly. I truly don't know if I'll be here tomorrow. They could very easily say, you know what, you need to work on your dancing and you need to find yourself. I don't know. Performing in front of an audience. We got hair done, we got makeup done, we had wardrobe. Sexy. This is awesome. I wish I could do this to my eyes every day. My nerves are there, definitely. But I think I can nail it. I think that Chelsea is, would probably be like our weakest link. Chelsea's a singer, not so much a dancer. If I were Chelsea, I might be scared of going home. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Pussycat Dolls Lounge on the Sunset Strip. I'm your host, Mark McGrath. We have a great, great show for you tonight. So let's get started. I know you guys know what's at stake here. One of you guys is going home tonight. For the eight who remain, you'll have a chance to become a member of one of the biggest girl groups of all time. Now, you guys have already spent some quality time with the first judge. She is the creator and visionary of the Pussycat Dolls. Say hello to my friend, Robin Anton. her is the chairman of Geffen Records. He's a musician, songwriter. He's also worked with Grammy winners and he's written number one hits and produced number one hits for artists such as Mary J. Blige, Christina Aguilera, The Black Eyed Peas, and of course the Pussycat Dolls. Say hello to Mr. Ron Fair. Good luck to all of you, and I hope you realize this isn't a game. I'm really excited about this next member of the team. She has sold more records than any female rapper in history. It's my great pleasure to introduce you to Lil' Kim. Well, girls, I was born a pussycat doll. <laughs> So I'm here to make sure that the next Pussycat Doll was born a Pussycat Doll, too. <laughs> Girls, you all look really hot, but only one of you will be the next Pussycat Doll. Now the competition really begins. Performing Crazy in Love is Asia, Chelsea, and Melissa S. Just how you 
See what they thought of your performance. It was great to see this because I found out how well you know the song or you don't. Melissa, you don't. I had asked you guys all week to learn the song and I didn't feel that you really knew the words. And Melissa, at times you still were looking like you were trying to remember your dance steps too. And when you forgot your words, it kind of threw everything off. As a group, I thought you did pretty good. Music is not a competition in real life. But, but in this show, it is. And the three of you weren't really dancing together. You were just sort of going through your paces. Chelsea, when you sang, you sang with a lot of authority. And you definitely intrigued me, and you have a little spark there. Thank you. Asia, you revealed nothing to me as a singer I couldn't really tell. My problem is your ability to get inside the groove of the music and really have like a rhythmic connection to it. So I'm going to have to wonder about that. Thank you, ladies. Good job. Good job. My vocals are always strong in freaking rehearsal. I know, girl, my dancing and singing is always strong in freaking rehearsal. I messed up, too. The two girls that I was very intimidated by completely shocked me. Like, Melissa S. messed up. Shocking. She didn't help me, and I had to do it on my own. So, I guess, karma's a bitch. Chelsea. The thing about Chelsea is that I like her voice. What I don't like about her is that I don't think she's a good dancer. She has a, a, a really decent voice that may be worth exploring further. Yeah, yeah that's The dancing, thinking. like you say, kind of negligible. Yeah. Girls, this has been a very intense week. I just want to say that I hope that you will take that confidence that you've all worked so hard for and use it your entire life. Now, Asia, you won the confidence challenge. That means you cannot be eliminated. Will you step back, please? And now comes the tough part. Jamie, congratulations. You made it to the next round. R. Congratulations. Chelsea. Congratulations. Melissa S., you've made it to the next round. Brittany, I'm sorry, but you will not be the next Pussycat Doll. Will you please hang up your boa. 